Hi, I'm Paula Polkanitz. Welcome on my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to start a toe-up sock using Turkish custom method. This is my Modelica sock. And the pattern I created, I started knitting this sock with the Turkish custom method. It looks really nice, it's really smooth around your toes. I'll show you how it looks when worn. It gives a really nice seamless effect and it's really simple to make so that's why it's my favorite way to cast on for a toe up sock. So grab your favorite sock yarn, prepare your needles, circular needles which have smooth joints so the work for you will be easy. Now let's make a slip knot. I hope that you know how to make a slip knot. Let's make it again. Okay, it's the slip knot. It will be your first temporary stitch. You'll see why it's temporary later, but for now put it on your upper needle like so. So the yarn is secured. Turkish custom method creates stitches by wrapping the yarn around the needles. Each wrap creates two stitches. So let's say we want to cast on for 20 stitches. So we need 10 wraps. Let's make 10 wraps by starting the wrapping on the lower edge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We've got ten wraps. This will be our future stitches. Now, how to make those stitches work for us? Turn your work clockwise, pull the needle like in knitting by, with magic loop method, I'm knitting with Russian continental method, but please use your preferred one. So work through all the 10 wraps here. Knit those stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Here we can see our first temporary stitch. Now turn your work clockwise, push the needle. Where's the working yarn? Oh, it's here. Hello. <laughs> okay, now it doesn't look good, so we need to release the, this stitch like so. It's really easy. Just pull the yarn a bit to secure it, and now. Pull the needle, work through all the stitches that wraps created around this needle. Be careful while working on the first stitch. And now work for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Now we've got all 20 stitches here. So to start working on your toes, you need to turn your work clockwise, pull the needle, and now you can start your first round. It will be probably an increasing round. But you can use this method to start any tube. I hope that you like this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe for a sweet beginning. Thank you and happy knitting!